Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In this video, we guide you through the process of resetting your TP-Link Archer MR200 router to its factory settings. If you're having trouble with your router or just need a fresh start, this video will help you get back on track. Resetting the TP-Link TLMR6400 router restores it to factory settings, which can fix connectivity issues, forgotten passwords, or misconfigurations. It's necessary when troubleshooting network problems, switching users, or preparing the device for resale. First, let's locate the reset button on your router. On the TP-Link TLMR6400, the reset button is located at the back of the router, near the power and LAN ports. It's a small, pinhole button that requires a paperclip or a pin to press. After inserting the SIM card, connect the TP-Link TLMR6400 router to a power outlet using the included power adapter. Press the power button to turn it on, and wait for the LED indicators to stabilize indicating the device is ready for setup. Now, connect your computer or mobile device to the router. You can do this using a LAN cable or by connecting to the default Wi-Fi network name printed on the sticker under the router. The default Wi-Fi password is also listed there. Now, take a paperclip or a small pin and press and hold the reset button for about 10 seconds. You'll see the power LED blink or the router will restart once the reset process begins. Once the reset is complete, the router will reboot, and the LED lights will stabilize. Your TP-Link TLMR6400 router is now restored to its factory settings, and all personalized settings such as Wi-Fi network names and passwords have been erased. At this point, you'll need to reconfigure your router. To do so, Connect your computer or mobile device to the default Wi-Fi network, which should be listed on the label at the bottom of the router. You can then access the router's setup page through your browser by typing in the IP address, which is typically 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. If you experience any issues or need assistance during the setup process, don't worry, our dedicated support team is ready to help. Feel free to reach out to our skilled professionals for expert guidance and troubleshooting at 1-323-507-3713. And that's it. Your TP-Link Archer MR200 router is now reset and ready to be reconfigured. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.